Hi, it's Lionel, the tech lead and partner at Westfold, and I have beef today to talk to you guys about. It's almost the end of 2019, but I just couldn't leave my office without putting this point down here, okay? And the point is, PHP is getting a bad rap, and I'm here to tell you that PHP is back in 2020. We are back in PHP 7. So here are three myths being circulated out on the internet and I just have to address each and every one of these myths of why PHP is so-called a bad language. They don't know what they're talking about. Myth number one, PHP is slow and outdated. That is a myth that has been going around for almost 10 years. And this, there's a reason for this, okay? Back in PHP 3 and PHP 2, back in the 90s, right? when the PHP was coming out, it was the first language to transcend the web. In fact, it's still 70% of the web. And it was slow, and it was buggy. But what other things aren't buggy and slow from the 90s? Think about your mobile phone, think about all this stuff. That is all gone, it's finished, because PHP 7 is crazy fast. Go and check it. Let me put it up here. It is almost 100% faster now in 2018, 2019. With PHP 7.4, we are up both 100% for PHP 7 and another 40% in 7.4. It has been completely rewritten. We don't need PHP's uh, HHVM virtual machine to do it anymore. It is fast and efficient. Okay, as fast and efficient as um, probably uh, the top standards of 80% of that. So this is a myth that is completely busted. It's just that it's been taking a long time for people to get around to 7 coming back. All right, second reason, PHP is insecure. This is a myth that's been portrayed by the WordPress community, by some of the sites that have been hacked in way back in the day where uh, the web was still new. We're talking about 2000s, early 90s, where you, you know, make a homepage in PHP. And yes, it was true. It wasn't secure because there wasn't tight scripting, the type settings. Um, security wasn't a key part about PHP. But fast forward to 2020, 2019. Today, security is a major part of PHP. In fact, some of the frameworks, especially with the frameworks, uh, we have um, strict typing. So if you want an integer or an object or something, you can name it. We have cryptology in the passwords, MD5. It's all secured from that thing. A lot of the myths come from poor programming, not the language itself. If it's done correctly, PHP is as secure as the next language. And if you use a framework, for example, the V2 framework, um, done security, um, especially by Sam Duck and the contributors, is a very big part of that framework. So if someone goes around and says, oh, PHP is not secure, it's the coding side, it's not the language. The language, especially with 7, especially with new features that have been introduced, it's secure as you know anything that's out there. The final uh, point that comes out, okay, myth number three, is that PHP does not scale. Somehow, it breaks down when it gets really big. And this is an incorrect myth, okay? The first uh, point is that since uh, in PHP 7.4, we have introduced both OO programming and a whole bunch of efficiency features that uh, MVC uh, structures. So PHP is a lot more modular. Now this whole idea of scaling, right? Um, it all comes down to how the framework is set up. We have um, lots of uh, enterprise companies are using PHP. Some of them you'll be so surprised. Uh, Wikipedia is using PHP. Biggest content dump on the internet. Slack is using PHP. You know, the chat app that we're all very useful. Uh, everyone knows Facebook is using PHP. MailChimp is using face, uh, uh, PHP sending out millions and millions of emails every single day. So 
Um, this is a misconception that PHP is not enterprise level, it's not scalable, that's not true. It's completely fabrication. If you know how to build PHP applications, if you use uh, the right programmers, if you use the right frameworks like E2, you can have an enterprise ready um, project app with PHP and not to mention all the other benefits that we'll talk about why, including cost, uh, ease of use, uh, common available stack. So 2020, let's get rid of this myth that uh, PHP is not a language for 2020. So happy new year to everybody out there and I will see you in 2020. This is the tech lead and that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.